Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on this Tuesday the 16th of June. Today the church remembers St Richard who was a Bishop of Chichester and he died this day in 1253. St Richard is well regarded as his, for his ministry and for his works during his life. <clears throat> it's a couple of things we just want to highlight about him. One it uh, is rather lovely as one of the miracles which is attributed to him during his life is that whilst uh, presiding at the altar for Mass, um, the chalice with the consecrated wine, the blood of Christ, fell and hit the floor. St. Richard picked it up and not a, uh, uh, not, not a single drop of the blood had fallen from the chalice. And this is one of the, uh, um, one of the lovely miracles which is attributed to him. Also on his deathbed, he is said to have um, prayed the, a rather lovely prayer which is... Um, was transcribed by his confessor and written down and is still used today. So we'll use that in our prayers uh, later on during the service. We'll have a few moments of stillness before we begin our morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins, and heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from the pit, and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things, so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He makes his way known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, all you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray of one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire of love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this morning is Psalm 32. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Happy the one whose transgression is forgiven, and whose sin is covered. Happy the one to whom the Lord impugns no guilt, and in whose spirit there is no guile. For I held my tongue, my bones wasted away through all my groaning all the day long. Your hand was heavy upon me day and night. My moisture was dried up like the drought in summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and my iniquity I did not hide. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore let all the faithful make his, their prayers to you in times of trouble. In the great water flood it shall not reach them. You are a place for me to hide in. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with mine eye. Be not like the horse and mule which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held with bit and bridle, or else they will not stay near you. Great tribulations remain for the wicked, and mercy embraces those who trust in the Lord. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Shout for joy all who are true of heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Our second psalm for this morning is Psalm 36. With you, O God, is the well of life. Sin whispers to the wicked in the depths of their heart. There is no fear of God before their eyes. 
they flatter themselves in their own eyes, that their abominable sin will not be found out. The words of their mouth are unrighteous and full of deceit. They have ceased to act wisely and to do good. They think out mischief upon their beds, and have set themselves in no good way, nor do they abhor that which is evil. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness stands like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, shall save both man and beast. How precious is your loving mercy, O God! All mortal flesh shall take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They shall be satisfied with the abundance of your house. They shall drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light shall we see light. O continue your loving kindness to those who trust, who know you, and your righteousness to those who are true of heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, nor the hand of the ungodly thrust me away. There are they fallen, all who work wickedness. They are cast down and shall not be able to stand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. With you, O God, is the well of life. Our Old Testament reading is a continuation of the book of Joshua, chapter 21, verses 43, through to chapter 22, verse 8. Thus the Lord gave to Israel all the land that he had sworn to all their ancestors that he would give them. And having taken possession of it, they settled there. And the Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had sworn to their ancestors. Not one of all their enemies ha had withstood them, for the Lord had given all their enemies into their hands. Not one of all, of all the good promises that the Lord had made to the house of Israel had failed. All came to pass. Then Joshua summoned the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and sa said to them, You have observed all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you and have obeyed me in all that I have commanded you. You have not forsaken your kindred these many days, down to this day, but have been careful to keep the charge of the Lord your God. And now the Lord your God has given rest to your kindred, as he promised them. Therefore turn and go to your tents in the land where your possessions lie, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave you on the other side of the Jordan. Take good care to observe the commandment and instruction, that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to keep his commandments and hold fast to them, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. So Joshua blessed them and sent them away, and they went to their tents. Now to the one half of the tribe of Manasseh, Moses had given a possession in Bashan, but to the other half, Joshua had given a possession beside their fellow Israelites in the land west of the Jordan. And when Joshua sent them away to their tents and blessed them, he said to them, Go back to your tents with much wealth and with very much livestock, with silver, gold, bronze and iron, and with all great quantity of clothing. Divide the spoil of your enemies with your kindred. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Spirit of God, teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. Come, let us go to the mountain of, of, of God to the house of the God of Jacob, that God may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For the Lord shall go out from Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. God shall judge between the nations, and shall mediate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift, it, lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Spirit of God, teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. Our New Testament reading comes from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, Tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. But he said to him, Friend, if you set me to be a judge or arbitrator over you, and he says to them, Take care, be on your guard against all kinds of greed, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. Then he told them a parable. 
The land of a rich man produced abundantly, and he thought to himself, What should I do? For I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones, and there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool! This very night your life is being demanded of you. And the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is for those who store up themselves treasures, uh, but are not rich towards God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the paths of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. I will give you sheep after my own heart, sorry, shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. So let us pray. Lord, as we start this day, be in our hearts, be in our heads, be on our lips. May we do all to honour you this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for the witness and give thanks for the ministry of your servant, St. Richard, for the miracles he performed, for his life and example that we may follow, for his kindness and godliness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those who are self-isolating. We pray for those who are in quarantine. We pray for those who are shielding. We pray for all who are in hospital and for those who have died. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those shops which have been allowed to reopen yesterday. We pray for the staff, for the shoppers, for those trying to maintain social distancing, for those who are trying to keep the stores safe. Lord, be with those who are having to queue that they may have patience. Show compassion on those who are having to work in such difficult circumstances. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are struggling at this time. We pray for those who are anxious, for those who are relying on the kindness of others. We pray for all who are having to use the food bank, for all who have been made unemployed, for those who are worried about their jobs and their future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for our schools, for those who have been allowed to return, for those who are learning at home. We pray for those who are struggling to come to terms with the new norm, 
we give thanks and pray for those who are excelling. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray the prayer for of St. Richard. Thanks be to thee, my Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits thou hast given me, for all the pains and insults thou hast borne for me. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know thee more clearly, love thee more dearly, follow thee more nearly. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So in a moment of stillness, let us offer to God the thoughts and prayers of our innermost heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Most merciful Redeemer, you gave to your Bishop Richard a love of learning, a zeal for souls and a devotion to the poor. Grant that, encouraged by his example, we may know you more clearly, love you more dearly and follow you more nearly, day by day, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit are alive and reign, one God now and forever. Amen. So let's pray with confidence as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join me this evening at 5pm for evening prayer um, and also a quick update regarding the church opening. The church will be open uh, tomorrow on Wednesday uh, from 10 until 12. Uh, there'll be uh, a video going out how to, about how we're going to access the church for now because everything's slightly different. So that should come out later on today. And so please do have a watch of that. Um, and uh, I hope you might see some of you on Wednesday as well. But until we can see each other again, God bless, stay safe and have a very good day.